Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with a video on software defined radio. I haven't made a video on software defined radio for a while. I was a little bit busy. Uh, so here's a video. Uh, we're going to try to transmit using something called LoRa. Uh, LoRa Van uh, using my software defined radio platform. So I have for a transmitting device, I have my Hack RF, which is connected. And also I have my RT LSDR dongle in a receiving mode. In order for me to visualize signal using my RT LSDR dongle, on my same laptop, I'm using GQRX, and for transmission purposes, I'm using SDR Angel. So both are connected to the same laptop. Why I'm not using anything else? I can also do the transmission and reception on the same device using Pluto SDR or Hack RF, uh, but I'm just going to try to transmit a signal using Hack RF and try to receive it using uh, RT LSDR dongle because Hack RF is a half duplex device. So just simply go in, uh, simply add a device, go here, make sure it's plugged in. Um, scroll down, so I have my hack RF, so I'm just gonna click okay. So this is the two things that you would see. You'll have a frequency, so I'm receiving at 455 megahertz. So I'm gonna change this to 455 mega. By default, it's 455 mega. Um, and then I'm gonna bring this and then you can add a plugin which is available in SDR Angel, which is a LoRa plugin, by adding, uh, pressing this by adding channel. And this is known as a chirp chat modulator. So just simply hit apply. Just close this. So this is your chirp chat modulator, which uses something called LoRa, LoRa Van, or you can also try transmitting using ASCII and TTY. Uh, there are certain parameters that you can also change, like for example, FEC. FEC is available in terms of Hamming, Hamming code, so it's it's 4 comma 5, 4 comma 6, 4 comma 7. It also includes CRC, cyclic redundancy check. So four error correction codes are normally there when you want to actually correct the error at the receiving end without asking the transmitter to retransmit uh, your transmission. That's why we use forward error correction codes. In, in this scenario, it's going to use Hamming codes. And then you have your cyclic redundancy check, uh, CRC, in a form of two bytes and things like that. You can also select this to be a beacon. So we're going to start off with a beacon. And I'm going to zoom out. So I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger so you can clearly see what's going on uh, by just making it a little bit bigger like this. So we're going to start transmitting a beacon at 455 megahertz and we're going to try to receive it using this. I can turn on and off a channel or mute or unmute my channel or a plugin which is a chirp chat modulator plugin or any plugin that is available in SDR Angel. I can do a repeat. So let me just repeat the signal let's say 15 times and that's about it. Um, and I'm going to hit play now. Okay, so start transmitting. Let me just fix this up. You can just simply go here and make this spectrum go up a little bit so you can clearly see this transmission happening. So this is what I'm transmitting. This is the waterfall graph. This is the spectrum at 455 megahertz, a beacon. So let me just simply go ahead and look at my GQRX. You would see this beacon right here at this spot. All right, uh, let me just fix something else. Let me just uh, fix my VGA, which is variable gain amplifier. Let me just increase this gain so you can clearly see this signal clearly on your GQRX graph. I think a stop transmission. Yeah, I th let me just play it again. All right, here we go. As you can clearly see, you will see a beacon right here. On your waterfall graph, you can clearly see, and then you can also clearly see it here by, inc uh, by increasing again a little bit. So that that is transmitting. You can also change this to have uh, a text file. You can select your message type to be CQ, reply, report, and, and, and you name it. So normally it's for like ham radios and things like that, but it's a very uh, good way of like, you know, checking to see. Let me try a text message. Here we go. So this is a text message. And you can clearly see this right here at the receiving end. So this reception is being done through my RTLSDR dongle. 
and transmission is being done through my hack rf so this is how you're going to use your chirp modulator to actually transmit data so if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching